I'm Jay Dezinni from uh, Rico USA Incorporated. I'm here from our marketing department. I'm the director of marketing, focusing really on our partners and our alliances on strategic projects. And uh, Rico's kind of worldwide known as with our expertise in the enterprise business, um, very well known for our printing and copying systems, but we're also a, a leader in our services and, and our software and services that we provide customers around the world. And it was kind of a natural fit as we started working with IBM on how to incorporate um, IBM's IoT products, specifically Watson, into some of our core technology around meetings. And it really brought together this key partnership to bring to the market a, a new kind of interesting product that takes traditional technology and makes it more of a um, active meeting participant, not just technology in your meeting. So this introduction of IoT and artificial intelligence into our core products is kind of changing what we can do for our customers when it comes to productivity around meetings and, and areas like that. The speed of business itself, if you focus just there, has, has really made us all think about how we change, right? I, I mentioned a second ago, Rico is very well known in the enterprise business, but we've needed to, to transform with our customers as well. Um, there's, there's a couple of really main factors, but technology and the advancement of technology is driving how we work today. We talk about at Rico the new world of work and how we kind of use technology to embrace not only productivity, but new employees in the workplace. Uh, millennial employees, um, new types of, of employees that we're working with, and we've got to maintain that speed and maintain that style of work so that we can stay pr uh, really productive, but also keep that um, high value that we can provide our customers around, um, not just the technology, but the overall services that we provide. I think it's all about connectivity. It's all about being able to collaborate multiple places, multiple times, multiple time zones, and even multiple languages, right? So the ability to maintain that level of speed that we spoke about earlier um, and, and being able to connect anywhere, anytime. What we're seeing is customers are really driving the need to collaborate in multiple locations at once. And the, the, that's a great model, but what's important is we need to maintain that knowledge when we collaborate in multiple areas. And that's where our connection with Watson and IoT and Rico together kind of helps our customers build that portfolio of knowledge from a meeting that can be shared anywhere at any time. And I think that's an important model as we move forward. A, a great example would be um, collaborating in multiple locations. So in the past, we, we've seen um, travel, right? We, we've all traveled to many locations, realize you go into a meeting for an hour or two, and then you're back on a plane. Um, today's workforce is, is demanding that we give them the ability to connect through video, through collaboration. So our interactive flat panel displays that we have here at, at, at Genius of Things today, combined with Watson IoT, gives us the ability to have our customers collaborate remotely and maintain that information. So it's like they're working in the same room. It can be over video, over whiteboard, and then using that kind of uh, active meeting participant, the connection of, of Watts and IoT together to help drive that productive meeting. The biggest thing I see is more devices being connected. I think IoT expanding and um, maybe non-traditional devices that we haven't seen in the past connecting in different ways. Um, using um, traditional devices to do many different things, not just what it was designed for. So I think the introduction to IoT and artificial intelligence and, and collaboration, all the things we've been talking about here, is gonna change how we use our everyday devices um, to help our, our customers, our employees, um, our partners be more effective in how they do their job. It, obviously to us, collaboration is very important and very um, specific in, in, in the solution we're designing in the intelligent workplace that we're showing here today. But I think it's kind of what we talked about. If you look at connected devices being used in different ways, in ways that they weren't maybe intentionally designed to use and connecting us to more back-end systems, more systems that can help us be, again, more productive in our everyday workplace. I think the first step is being open to new technology and actually listening to your employees, too. So listen to what the employees are, are challenges they have every day and looking at potentially what new technology is out there that might help them. Um, again, I mentioned before the new world of work, right? The way employees are working today are a lot different than the way they were even working five years ago. And I think if we listen to our, our workforce, and be open to looking at some of these non-traditional technologies in different ways, I think it'll help you get into that business. I've really been forced to look at some of our core, core capabilities, our core technologies, um, our core services that we provide, and look how we can open them up in different ways. Um, and, and this partnership with IBM and, and, and Watson IoT is really an example of that. It's not the traditional way we would have looked at our business five years ago. So that's, that's really uh, one of the bigger changes on, on, in my job is looking at how we use uh, our technology and really how we plan our roadmaps in the future as well. With the speed of change and that pace, we've got to, we've got to slightly take a different look at our traditional roadmap and say, um, we've got connected devices all around the world. 
Um, how else could we bring value to our customers and using those connective devices in different ways? You know, there's examples that range from, uh, you know, payment devices at, 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 a, at even an MFP in an office or even connection to uh, a company's environmental system right at an MFP panel. So we're looking at different ways to provide that added layer of value of partnering with Rico and in this case, Rico and IBM together. I'm excited to see people, first of all, see the Rico brand as, as a different brand as we evolve. Um, you know, we've gone through this transition to a services company, but, uh, but partnerships like this where we're bringing IoT-based technology and, like I said before, cognitive and AI into the world, I'm excited to see what we can do with the knowledge that we've got for years and years in the enterprise, in the enterprise space and really see how we can grow that and provide more value for our customers. It's very exciting.